Hello, have you ever noticed that your questions may be a more powerful communication tool than your words? What if I told you that the secret to having deeper talks and more profound connections is learning the art of curiosity? Curiosity is the driving force behind every discovery, invention, and knowledge you have today. It causes people to ask questions and explore the world around them. It also serves as motivation for deep and meaningful conversations, since the best discussions usually start with a question. Communication and curiosity go well together. When you're curious, it adds energy to your conversations, which makes them more lively and authentic. You might say, that's interesting. Tell me more. This kind of curiosity helps us learn more about other people people and their world. Curiosity and communication gives insight into differing beliefs. This understanding transforms conflicts into opportunities for, uh, for genuine comprehension. Being curious makes our conversations better, improves how we talk, and helps us connect more with others beyond the surface. Let's look at asking questions like it's an art form. When you're asking questions, that makes you the artist. When you're asking questions, try to ask ones that really matter. Socrates, who was a Greek philosopher, had a special way of asking questions. He would ask questions that focus more on open-ended answers rather than one specific factual evidence. Now imagine this scenario. You're in a team meeting discussing an important project. One team member, let's call him Alex. Alex is presenting an idea that could greatly impact the project's success. Here are some curious listening techniques that you can apply. As Alex presents his idea, resist the urge to immediately interject with your own thoughts. Instead, give him enough space to say everything he wants to. And after he finishes, take a moment of silence. This silence might cause him to further explain some points or uh, or repeat any important information. This shows us how important silence is. Show that you're interested without talking, with using your body language. Maintain eye contact to show attentiveness, not in agreement, and show that you're interested. These signs give, give the speaker a friendly atmosphere that make, making them feel more comfortable and more likely to share other ideas or concerns. This signifies the importance of nonverbal cues. After Alex finishes presenting, presenting his idea, uh, take, a mo- uh, take a moment to think about what you heard and then summarize the important points and any potential problems. This makes sure that Alex can, this makes sure that Alex can further explain any points that you didn't understand and shows us how important reflecting and validating is. Using the power of nonverbal cues, uh, nonverbal cues, reflective validation, and the power of silence helps us to communicate more effectively with other people. In conclusion, paying close attention, asking genuine questions, and observing how conversations develop makes our conversations better and leads us to better conversations. Thank you for listening.